a question a lot of people ask is, what, what is the most difficult kind of computer system to break into? Like, how can I make something more secure? And you know what the answer is? You're probably not going to guess this. The answer is to put less code. Like, the less you put in and the simpler you make something, the harder it is to hack. Isn't that crazy? Like, you would think normally to make something more secure, I got to whip all this stuff and I got to put a firewall and a monitor and intrusion detection and crypto and all this crap. By adding more, you make it less secure. By making it less and less and less and less to something you totally understand, you make it more secure. So a good way to test on your own if something is more or less secure is ask how complicated it is. The irony in most power infrastructure is that it's still pretty low tech, right? You go tour a power plant, certainly a new nuclear power plant, feels like you're stepping back in time a little bit. There's some popular discussion around that in the media, around maybe that needs to be upgraded. I, as a computer scientist, I kind of vote that some of that low tech is not such a bad thing, like having less compute power in places that are super consequential, or having systems that are non-interoperable, like this power grid in this part of the country, having some difficulty being interoperable with the other. We might complain about that, say you need a smart grid, but you have a problem here, it may not cascade over here because they just don't interoperate. That's not a terrible thing. And I think kind of moving forward, as we do build power grids that are smarter, I hope that we're very careful about that and keep things light and simple and clean and not more complicated, more complex, then we're going to have problems.